Welcome to Istanbul, a city that stands at the crossroads of Europe and Asia, serving as the heart of Turkey and a pivotal point throughout human history. This vibrant metropolis is a testament to the convergence of cultures and civilizations. Istanbul has been the capital of formidable empires, from the Romans and Byzantines to the Ottomans. Each left an indelible mark on the city's architecture, culture, and legacy. At the heart of Istanbul's strategic importance lies the Bosporus Strait. This iconic waterway connects the Aegean and Mediterranean seas to the Black Sea, dividing Europe and Asia. Today, the Bosporus is one of the busiest straits in the world. In 2023 alone, a staggering 40,000 ships traversed this narrow, winding passage. The result? Severe congestion, with ships often queuing for days to transit. Enter Turkey's latest ambitious project, the Istanbul Canal. President Erdogan is planning to construct an artificial waterway, almost mirroring the Bosporus Strait at a staggering cost of $25 billion. The Canal Istanbul will stretch over 28 miles, or 45 kilometers, with a depth of 68 feet, or 21 meters. It will feature six bridges connecting it to the European side of Istanbul. This canal will form an island between Europe and Asia, effectively dividing the European side of Istanbul. But why is Turkey willing to invest so heavily in this project? The aim is multifaceted. Firstly, the canal will help alleviate the traffic congestion at the Bosporus Strait, providing a safer, more efficient route for ships. Experts highlight that the Bosporus's narrow and winding path poses significant risks for large shipments, leading to numerous maritime incidents. The Istanbul Canal, with its relatively straight path, is designed to accommodate 160 to 180 ships per day safely. Despite the anticipated $8 billion annual revenue, the project has faced considerable criticism. Environmentalists warn of potential ecological risks, including damage to forests, farmland, and groundwater contamination. They argue that the construction process itself threatens critical ecosystems and could increase the chances of heavy flooding in that area. Another significant factor is the Montreux Convention of 1936, which restricts Turkey's control over the Bosporus. By constructing the Istanbul Canal, Turkey aims to bypass these restrictions, potentially allowing NATO to bring aircraft carriers and submarines into the Black Sea. Political analysts suggest that this strategic maneuver could significantly enhance Turkey's geopolitical leverage. Coupled with the newly built Istanbul airport, Turkey is positioning itself as a major hub for both air and maritime traffic aiming to draw away traffic from other European routes and generate substantial revenue. The Bosporus Strait remains one of the world's most crucial maritime passages, serving as a critical artery for countries like Russia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine, which export large quantities of agriculture such as wheat. However, the Bosporus's narrow and bendy path imposes significant risks for large shipments traveling at high speeds. The Turkish government argues that the canal will offer a safe and efficient passageway for ships carrying oil, gas, chemicals, and military arms away from the congested Bosporus. However, the construction process threatens to disrupt local ecosystems and increase the risk of natural disasters. Interestingly, the concept of an Istanbul Canal dates back to the 1500s during the Ottoman Empire, proposed by Sultan Suleiman. Despite multiple attempts over the centuries, the project never gained traction until now. In March 2021, the Turkish government finally greenlit the development of the canal. However, the biggest question on the minds of many Turks is why Istanbul needs this canal when it already has the Bosporus Strait. Residents express concerns about the environmental risks and costs associated with the project. They question the necessity of the canal given the existing Bosporus. Critics argue that the Istanbul Canal is driven by economic and military motivations. The project aims to minimize Turkey's dependency on the Bosporus and enhance its geopolitical leverage. Additionally, there are suspicions about how this canal will affect the fault lines running through Istanbul, especially with speculations of an impending major earthquake in the next 20 years. 
As construction begins, the world watches closely. Will Canal Istanbul become a symbol of progress or a cautionary tale of ambition? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating insights into global developments. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the Istanbul Canal?